Hello, I'm Santino. And I'm Cristiano. And this is the, the Marinelli, Marinelli Brothers, Brothers Podcast. And on today's episode of the Marinelli Brothers Podcast, Cristiano, you want to tell uh, them? Well, today uh, we're going to be interviewing our nonna, Anita Colchina, and, uh, and uh, we're going to be uh, asking about her life. Uh, as a child, coming to Canada, all that sort of stuff. No, you want to say hi into the microphone? Hello, my name is Anita Calcina. I'm here with my grandkids. They want me to interview see my story of my life. Okay, so, Cristiano, you're going to ask the first question. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, Nona. Yes. Um, what was your childhood like? Like, because I know uh, it was the year the war ended so stuff was quite war torn but how how was it up until let's say you were 12 years old well i don't remember that much i know we was uh, poor but still i was uh, we was uh, sex in family three brother three sister Holy mother <laughs> father and we was poor but still we was uh, pretty happy so we don't worry what you guys got here for sure <laughs> but we try our best did, so did, did you uh did you find that uh you would often go hungry or were did were you relatively well fed well i never went really really mm. hungry but last of time i wish i got a little more to eat but we was not picky for sure like you guys today you are picky that's not true no uh, that is the truth okay so you you did have shelter and food however you you didn't have too much did you go many places no we don't went to so many places because we cannot my parents cannot take me places they was uh, too busy to work on a field and a farm and uh, there, but that time, nobody go places. You, you grew up in uh, Croatia. At that time, it was Yugoslavia. Uh, did you grow up uh, near, the, um, near the ocean or was it in the middle of Croatia? Well, no, it's uh, about 20 minutes away from ocean. 20 minutes with car driving. Okay, But so... Did you ever go go to the beach as a kid? No, no. I don't went to beach to 15 or 16 year old when my sister, she live in Novigrad, Chitanova, where was the beach, I went see her then after. I was 14 or 15 year old when I, first time I went near the ocean to the beach. Okay. Um, so, uh, what what sort of work what would you do for to work on the farm and what would you do on your spare time and what would you do in school uh, in school we study like from uh, grade one to grade eight we do lots of study history math uh, language well, language uh, our language for sure but history we learn about uh, lots of things about different country and math uh, history yeah we learn lots of things spare time when i come home I had lots of my mom clean the house, and uh, I used to go to the field, help my uh, father and uh, do work in the field. In a spare time, sometime a weekend, uh, when uh, my, I don't help my parents, I play with my friend, with the neighbor friend we used to play. Did, did you live uh, close to any of your friends, or were you uh, quite a kilometer or two no, away? No, we was in the village, we was there. Oh, so you guys close. lived, you guys lived in Very the village, close. close to the village. Yeah, we we live in village, and there was a friend, was about. Yeah, there we was six between brother and sister, and there was about now uh, uh, five six friend who lived there in village. We was about. 10, 12 kids play together sometimes. So you did, uh, so you were able to go out and play with some other kids sometimes? Yes, we yeah. used to play. I went to school and then... Uh, Your friends? I, um, I had my parents, like I already said to parents, you. Parents, yeah. And uh, when we was young, uh, 12, 13 year old, there we don't got it too much. But uh, in the summer, it was lots of 
Lazar kaina you call a festa like you used to dancing. We dance in the summer. Yeah. And yeah. I, we used to go. Was, and you did a lot of dancing. Yeah. And that was my favorite when I was 30, 14 year old. Prom. Yeah. Prom, uh, not prom. No, but you, you would dance more often than just once yeah, or twice a year. Yeah, I like, I like with friend, our, my friend from my village. When was somewhere uh, Fiera, they, we used to call it uh, San Fiera, Nasamra mostly. And uh, you can hear people was uh, playing the music outside, you can see from far away. And my favorite, favorite thing was to go dancing. I love so much music to go yeah. dancing. And we went, that was when, before I left home, between 12 to 14, 15 year old. And then when I leave home, still I used to go dancing, but that was, was mostly my special thing when come in summer. I used to go dance with my sister, the older sister, and my friend from village. And it was music, and that was, that was my favorite, favorite thing when I was young. That's what I remember. I don't got money to go dance. It was five, 500 dinner. I what, remember. What, what's the dinner that time was uh, cru uh, what would that be equi equivalent to in Canadian maybe like five that, bucks no no well that time that time 500 dinner somebody got to work one day oh okay almost one day so it so you figure it, out maybe around 50, 50 to 100 dollars let's say let's put around that 500 dinner was 70, 70, 75 dollars okay and so was that, lots that of be... money to go for one evening, and that I remember because I like I was like my dad. I like music. I like dancing. My sister, older, she like too. But my brother, they were like. Your, were your parents thing. nice? Yeah, my parents like I said, no, they, they love each other. They was nice, but when you are poor, you you're can't poor, do a you lot. cannot do. A but... Plus, we were sex in family, yeah. not one. <laughs> no, no, I might. I don't, I don't know how your parents remembered all the names. I remember the name, you remember, because we was now all together. Yeah. And but, like I said, my dad, he loved yeah. so much. And that was my favorite thing, in the summer coming, Damn. when I can go dance. That is my best thing, that was my... Your still, favorite thing? My favorite thing is still now, I'm old, still now I, I, I like to go dance if I can, when I can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. With friend of mine. Um... Okay, uh, would you like to ask any more questions, Santino? Uh, yeah, one question. When did things start getting better? Like, when things started to get a lot better? Well, we're actually going to talk, talk about that next, uh, her moving to Canada. Uh, as, as well as uh, her husband, Marino Colchina, uh, him, him moving and helping her. So, uh... How old were you when you immigrated here? Well, I was 18 years old. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, so, uh, so did you have any help uh, coming to Canada? or? Well, no. What can I help you, you mean? No, I mean, like, did you have a sponsor or anything? Yes, my husband, Narino Kachina, sponsored me. If not, I cannot come in Canada. He came in there in 1962 in September, October. Uh, he stayed there. We meet each other, we knew, he knew me somewhere because his parents was not far away from my, his village was not far away from my village. So, and then we really meet each other on uh, New Year's Eve. And then uh, we see each other and then March, we get married and then he come in April here and he sponsor me. And then... Uh, all, have, all in the same year? The same year. We are married in uh, March 23rd. And then April, I don't remember, with Saturn last re, uh, voyage he made here in Canada. And he sponsored me, and then I come here in Canada uh, in December 9th, December, uh, was the last day of December? December 31st. 31st. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so, um, what was... How, like, how did you meet up with uh, Nono Nerino? Oh, you don't, want, you don't want to ask me how I was before I, I got married? Oh, my oh, sister, my brother, everything. Yeah, uh, 
actually elaborate a little bit more on your childhood because I thought you were I thought you were done, but no, uh, come on, that. keep talking. Yeah. We have all the time in the world. Well, my childhood, like I say, we were six in family, three brothers, three sisters. Sure, lots of time we argue, lots of time. Uh, mostly, my uh, was close to my older sister because I was only two years apart. But my younger sister, she when I come in Canada, she was only three year old. So I don't know her that well. But uh, with uh, the rest, my brother, sister, yes, lots of time we argue. We try to help the parents. And like I said, and then uh, the life started better. I went to work in one family when I, I was uh, 14 year old. Okay, before I, you came to Canada. Before I came to Canada, for one year, I was like maid. And then uh, from, fe sorry, from 15 to 16. As soon as I turned 16, I can get my uh, kind of call uh, the books for go working passport passport yeah yeah they do it 16 there uh, 16 he, here and it's... then i went to work with big company yeah. called uh de la maris de la maris and is that is that uh in canada or is that it... is in slovenia what, what type what, of company what, is it yeah like that what does kind it do? of company is that where is the can fishing can all the kind of different can fishing used to be fish company Oh, okay. Yeah, the same all around the world. What and what what did you do there? Where you? I work a machine where I put uh, uh, close the the can fish can all that thing for. Oh, uh, okay. And there I was for uh, between sixteen to I meet my husband Arino Kachina, and then we get married. I was working almost to uh, eighteen year old. We get married in March. And, uh, and then he come in Canada and I finished working in July. I stay home for a while with my parents. Mm. The, in December, I come in Canada. Tell, tell us, uh, before we move on to you actually coming to Canada, tell us a little bit more about, uh, <clears throat> about uh, how you met uh, your husband. Oh, I already told you before. But how I met my husband. Like he came in there in September, October 1962. And then we met, met each other in December. I went dancing. It was December, but kind of we knew, we knew each other because the village was not far away from each other. So so it was just a small world and you knew yeah, each other? Yeah, was small. Well, he knew me. I don't know him, but I knew his parents and mother, fr sister, and everybody because it was real close. the village was close one each the other anyway and you sort and you met up we, really at the dance yeah i really we we, knew, uh, we meet each other and uh kind of dance new year's eve 1962 1963 and then we date date for a while and then we get married yeah three months isn't that much of a while sometimes people do three four years before they finally get married. yeah but because he has to come back in uh, yeah. april he do got a lot yeah, of time the visa visa he don't got a time to uh, go on yeah day after day oh year. you basically you you start you know she, he's like do you want to get married well, okay yeah, let's get married he knew, <laughs> like he knew well we there was different that time was not like today no, and Th things different. change over time. Yeah, things change over time. Yeah, change, change. Yeah, any questions you'd like to ask um, before no, uh, she moves on to her immigrating? Yeah, no, no, no questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so, uh... So what? Okay, so no, no, our next question is, what was it like actually coming to Canada? Well, how it was one way I was very exciting and I was very worried because I don't know nobody and mm. first time I went away from home, never went before away from home and I was very young, I don't know the language and hardly I knew uh, no, uh, my husband Nerino Kachina because in three months we met each other and we get married and he come here in Canada and he have to sponsor me. So how was... All together, I was happy, I was worried, and I was sad because I leave everybody A mix there. of emotions. That's right. And when I left uh, 
my parents, uh, my uh, country was exactly Christmas day, six o'clock, was a six o'clock evening, Christmas day, a six, six o'clock evening. Was. So that was... Six p.m. So six p.m., yeah. So that was... It was a long journey because... Uh, did you go by plane or by boat? We, She'll know, explain. We come by plane, but first to come with plane, me, a friend of mine, she passed away. And my uh, no, uh, my husband brother, he uh, comp, uh, comp, my husband brother Vittorio Cacina company. Me to we have to go to Zagreb, Zagabria. So, so you took a train. We take train. It was night and day. A second day when we come to Zagreb, Zagabria, because that was winter. It was very bad weather. The plane supposed to come from uh, Belgrade. But because of Alaska snow, the plane never can make it to Zagabria. So what we have to do? We're supposed to take plane from Zagabria to Rome, Rome to New York, New York, Toronto. But because of the weather, we have to take the train, we go to the Rome, and when we, that was today, to go to the Rome from Zagabria, go to the Rome, and we come home, there our plane was left already because we are late. And uh, we sleep overnight to Rome and we catch another plane from Rome to New York. See. And then we come in New York, mm. we take, we got away for a couple hours and we come here to Toronto. So we take mm. us five days from uh, East Saltaria, Istria to come here in Canada, Toronto. Yeah. And, and, and Toronto, you had two pit stops before that. You had Rome and uh, New York. We are in New York, and then from New York, take another plane to come here to Toronto. Because that time was not yeah. straight plane. To yeah, come you, here. you only stayed there for about a night, though. Cap Did you ex New York, we stay only for a few hours. I don't remember exactly. Okay. Did you explore around for the few hours you were in no, New York? No, because we stay at the port, we come in the evening. I don't remember exactly what time we come in the evening. We have to wait for a couple hours and then we take a uh, flight. We come here in Toronto, personal airport. Okay. Um, so now that you've told us about the journey, uh, Santino, do you want to ask any follow ups? Nope. Okay. <clears throat> Good idea. Have a drink. Uh, so now you're in Canada. Yes. You. It was a pain to get here. <laughs> that took me five days to come here. Yeah. Five days? That's actually a long because time. Because it was winter. Oh. It was that time. Like now you take a plane, you go straight to Rome, or, or you go to uh, Croatia, or you come straight to Toronto. But that time was not straight plane, plus was no winter. And that we're talking about 57 years ago. Yeah. That was a different story. And... Um, so now that you're in Canada, what is the first thing you do? Like, what do you do? And uh, and then I'm gonna ask you more about your work life. And, uh, we come you know. arrive as evening. What we first do for sure I was very tired. We come in the evening. We got a dinner. Really, we uh, we went uh, that time. What like uh, what, where did you live? Cause you lived in a couple houses before yeah, the one you're in right now. Yeah, that time we used to live uh, Mimico, New Toronto, I think so. The call it was uh, the family Calabrese. He uh, rent. He got a room in a uh, couple room. He uh, rent, and we stayed there for about eight months. Okay, so not for a long time. No. And then after that, we find the flat Saint Clair. Two people, Italian, still Sicilian. We got uh, that was a little bit better because it was second floor, totally only for us. And there we stay for five years. Five years. Five, even five years. That, was that rent or did no, you? No, no, we stay rent for five years there. Okay. In flat. So where where did you two uh, work uh, for well, those five years? Well, I first I find a job when uh, I. Uh, I was uh, down uh, uh, six, that six, seven, seven months in New Toronto. I was working for a Chiquita Banana, a packing banana. Okay. And when we move up to St. Clair, I have to find. 
Oh, it seems like uh, Santino has to leave for an appointment now. Bye. Bye. I hope everything works out, okay? Okay. Okay. So, uh, go on. So, you were packing bananas. Packing banana. Must have drove, driven you bananas. <laughs> yeah, that's why right. after a while I don't feel it to eat banana anymore. <laughs> you not, you don't banana. eat bananas anymore, do you? <laughs> yeah, I don't eat banana. Then after that, when we moved to St. Clair, then I got to find another job. Uh, that job was, I was working in, um, oh God, I forgot to find where I rebuilt the uh, carbur uh, carburetor. Carb carburetor. Carburetor for the car. There I was working to remove up uh, here at uh, Rich Mohill. When we were Rich Mohill, I have to quit because I was far away to go down. And uh, we moved 326 Brown the Crescent. It was first house, semi detached. And the Nono Nino at that time, he worked for an aluminum company. And uh, what what was the work like for him? Obviously, very tiring. But was there any was there any sort of benefits? What were did they treat him poorly? What was the health that like year there? Was different. Was no benefit. Benefit when he worked uh, for some company, small company down a uh, mill one drive in uh, Shepherd. Down, I don't remember. Driveway company. Uh, was no meal one in uh, a mill okay meal one drive in uh, shepherd down there okay from a uh, german company where I used to do the wind or aluminum aluminum thing and then after that he find the job was caledonia still he was with aluminum and after we move up here reach here finally they open one big company Revlon extrusion uh, he was working there to he retired for 23, 24 years, I don't remember. 25 years, I think. Yeah, he, he had some benefit. I was lucky. In one way, I got something after he retired. So he worked at uh, the... Cons where did he work and where did you work for all those years? Because okay, you was, got me a little bit mixed up there. Yeah. He was working after we moved up at Brown the Crest up here, mm -hmm. here. In that the first house we stayed for a long time, I don't remember exactly. So he find the job finally, closed the home, was a Renault extrusion, and I find the oh, job. He, he did uh, renovations or? Renault. No, he did the the win the windows. Luminon, right? leather, luminous, step leather, all kind of luminon. Did he do that? With the luminon thing, he was working. How long did he do that for? Oh, he was there for 20. 23, 24 years till he retired. Oh, okay. So, so uh, he he worked there, and you said he got some benefits from that company. After why are they give some benefit? Yeah, before when he start no, uh, before uh, the years before that company, he never got uh, no benefit, no nothing. Okay. But so after, so did they, uh, did they treat him okay? Were were they especially mean to him? Because I know the work was labor intensive, but how? But how was it mentally? Well, I don't know. Tell you the truth. He worked hard. He was the type of work hard. Treat him okay? No. That time nobody treat you the best. Tell you the truth. Uh, it was very, very hard job. Uh, because he was hard working person. He never wanted to miss day. Treat him uh, not, uh, not, not average. Some day was good. Some day was bad. Uh, they wanted the lots of push just to push the people what the last, they wanted the people who work they needed to do lots of production and then after they was happy but he make it to he retired there yeah you also had uh, a daughter right yes yeah our mother Orietta Marinelli who you may remember from the other podcast like uh what was it like uh, having her, and uh, what was it like having her in your life for quite a while? No, that uh, when, like I said, we moved up to Richmond Hill, and then uh, I find the job plastic up, and after yeah, 1971, and we Pla plastic company, plastic company, yeah, Plast they call plastic up. That was a new Kirk. You didn't work there for. There I work uh, when we move up to I worked to, I was pregnant with my daughter Oyeta and uh, I worked there to she was born uh, was uh, she was born July 
71, 22 July, and I worked there to June, I think so, to middle of June. After that, I stay home with her. Yes. And uh, yes. that then, what did you do? Did you work at another company? No, I stay home for one year. Maternity um, leave, mat yeah. No, they never give me nothing. They're supposed to give me that. I was only three months maternity leave, but because lots of things government was changed here and there, I never received nothing. I see. No one day. So, because hmm. I don't want to give to babysitter, then I start working cleaning house when she was uh, about 10 months old. So I stayed for 10 months with her. I find cleaning house. I was working there, cleaning, and she come in a, a friend hour, they look after her for a while, till she was uh, about three year old. Then after, friend went to work, and she come and I was cleaning the house, and she come in with me. Uh, working i was working and she was watching so you brought her around she i brought her around for a while and, and uh so so uh because i know you only cleaned uh houses for a certain amount of time what did you do after that after when she went to high school san roberts then i find my job to plastic up because i don't want to give to babysit and that and, um, so then you went back to then plastic. Then I went oh. back to factory, work for the company factory. When she went to high school or elementary? Because when she work, uh, start work at high school. Okay. First year high school, St. Roberts. Uh, who taught you how, how to speak English? Just to me, myself. I was trying to learn the books, magazine, watch TV. I just, we learn. We did, did people. uh... Did your daughter, my mother, help you out at all when it came out, came to understanding stuff? Yeah, when she started to school, and it was coming bigger, yeah, she helped me. She helped me lots of with the thing if I needed. She helped me. But meantime, because I was here already almost 10 years, and then when she was small, she cannot help me. But then I try to manage me and uh, my husband ourselves. Yeah. Uh, so, that's uh, so you worked, uh, for Plastic Cup until... I worked for pa Plastic Cup, tell you the truth, two, you supposed to be, you was born. That was... A great year for me. <laughs> great year. For, yeah, yeah, I was I born. In, I'm I, an angel. <laughs> yeah, you're an angel. I was, well, uh, Plastic Cup 22 years, I think, so there. Yeah. I don't know exactly. When, uh, many years how, how did they treat you at the plastic cup? And, was, and what did you do there exactly? I uh, was in a, in a line I put together the baseball heating, electric baseball heating. Oh, okay. Uh, Isn't that made out of uh, metal though? Well, that is a aluminum thing you put together. Oh, okay. So it, what? Uh, electric baseball heat is a whole different thing. So, it, so plastic cup. Uh, I'm not sure if they're still around. Plastic up, I don't know. Maybe it's not around. It's used to, we used to do it mostly all different kind of uh, plastic bottle for shampoo, for uh, put uh, soap in. That is a kind of all different kind of bottle. Okay. How, how did they treat you? Because... How they treat me? Let's tell you the truth. Nobody treat you the best when you work for the company. That's well, okay. What, up and were, down. were you treated better than um, your husband, no, 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 you know? No, no. Be, before when I used to, the plastic cup was not that bad. I was not a long time there to, Orieta was born. It was not that bad there. It was pretty good. Because it was mostly European, Greek people who was in charge. But when I But worked, then they switched. Yeah, when I work for a, uh, for a uh, state pro, last, 22 years, 23, I don't remember exactly. Stelpro, so... That was named Stelpro Company. When I but asked. it was the same as Plastic Cup. No. Plastic Cup, we used to do all different kind of plastic uh, bottle. Oh, okay, then you switched to the metal company. Then after I was home, after Orieta went to high school, then I find that the other company working in uh, Stelpro. That was... 
different thing. So yeah. they didn't treat you the best. Well, so okay first year after I come so many Chinese, you know, they don't treat me the best because Chinese want to take over and there was there was not the best. No. Was up and that was okay, yeah. but were, were you uh, paid more than minimum wage, though, both you and Lola well, Narino? Well, uh, Narino, he was... Because you got to remember, factoring in inflation, minimum wage at the time was was uh, was $7. With, without inflation, $6, $7. And, that, and then it goes up with inflation and all that. Yeah, well, no, I, I was not paid. I was paid maybe a little bit more, more than minimum wage, maybe. But Narino, no. Because uh, he was lucky that after the company was under union, so he was paid a little bit more than minimum wage. Yeah, it was average, average pay it was not that, was not the best, but was not, uh, was not a bad for them for that that time. Yeah, and you, uh, you bought, and uh, when did you buy this house? Because you worked very hard and you saved up, and then you ended up buying this house, right? Yes, we try buy because first house was kind of semi detached. Uh, we got a with neighbor lots of problem and was a little bit smaller. Uh, we want to buy a little bit bigger uh, to where uh, kind of invest the money to get a little bit more uh, a home. comfortable life, not to get too much problem all the time. Yeah, yeah. So we buy. and I mean, it's a pretty nice home. I mean, it's not a mansion or anything, no, but it's. Uh, I'm, a lot, I'm happy for my home. We was happy, and they said, "Hope It's didn't. nice and clean, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, no, 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 Narino. Uh, he always say he don't want to move out from the house. So he died, and that unfortunately was exactly what happened, because he he don't move himself out. They take him out when he was sick, take him to hospital. He never move in. So no, I'm happy. I'm here in that house, about thirty. Six thirty-seven year, I don't remember exactly, but oh. it's about thirty-seven years. So I'm very happy still. I don't know how long I will stay, and I stay mostly because you, Casey, my beautiful grandson. That I know that they like to come and see Nona, and that I got enough room, they can stay with me, and we work hard. Yeah, we work me and my husband, and your Nono. We work hard. And we was. With money, we have to be careful how we spend the money because we come in Canada without money, without language, without nobody to help us. And we try to manage the best way we can. Yeah. And uh, 50 years ago was not like today. Yeah. Maybe today one way is better. And maybe one it's, way it's worse. It's worse. There, I don't there's know. good and bad to all, That's right. all uh, generations. But uh, actually, I would sort of like to... Uh, talk a little bit about the good things that happened to you in Canada apart from ha having a daughter of course because sure. that's a good thing <laughs> but um, yeah. hey without her no, you wouldn't have my, us <laughs> yeah I don't got my beautiful grandson uh, and, sure. you, and you know what even if she didn't have us it's still nice to have a daughter no no I know how is my daughter so she drives me crazy she spent an hour sometimes Especially when she was young, she never listened to me hardly, and I got a lot of problem with uh, you know uh, your no no because something was wrong. He blamed me, and I cannot tell her nothing because that's uh, Castadura. Yeah, <laughs> as we say, yeah. Time. stubborn. So I was between. Uh, but you know what? I think uh, everybody argues sometimes, and yeah, no, no, that's true. Everybody got their own thing in family. But because uh, you know, no, he was a little bit upset when you uh, see me your mother. Uh, she was already a certain age over 30. She don't, got a, she don't want to get married or something, you know. Every parent, they want uh, for the kids the best. Especially when you got a only daughter. Uh, he wanted so much to see her happy because he loved her very, very much. And I love her too. And uh, he wanted to see see her happy and lots of times around he blame me why she don't get married why she don't find some nice uh, european guy why she don't uh... she didn't uh, she did end up doing it eventually yeah she did eventually thanks god yeah i'm happy for that but fortunately he never met your father he never met the son that he wish he wished so much to meet 
uh, he wish so much to see her, get married, and that fashion is the life. And uh, now can you tell me, uh, now this isn't exactly in chronological order, but uh, uh, when you came to Canada, up until, uh, up until uh, I was born, what, what did you do for entertainment? Parties, go places, what did you do? Exactly. No, we come in Canada, we tell you, tell you the truth. Because you know, it was a better life than in East. In yeah. one way, yes, it was better than in East. We tried to work. Like I said, me and your no, 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 no. We, we work hard and we find us a good uh, friend, uh, like from our country. And then uh, that time we got a lot of, we went, used to see each other. We used to go for dinner. Uh, we, we, on a weekend, uh, they come over or we go over, we invite us for dinner. We got lots of friends from our country, from uh, Paisani. You're the social butterfly, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> but we was lots of, that time we was uh, lots of social, yeah, that was true. And then after, uh, sometimes we go picnic, uh, and we see lots of different uh, people, because lots of people from our country, from uh, uh, our place, and uh, we meet each other, so that we was not boring. Plus, we was working hard, and we was not boring, no, tell you the truth. What, what, place did, what places did you go at that time? Like, uh, I know you guys went to the beach because you've told me about that many times, but uh, where else did you go? I know, obviously, not as many places as we go, but... Well, I know, that time, I didn't nobody go so many places where well, we go. We used to go to picnic, yeah. Like Slovensky picnic was uh, that time was Istriana that much now is Istravuchka, and uh, yeah we went, used to go uh, to Niagara Falls. We that time is not hmm. uh, men from our country work hard. They don't go so much around. And we don't have the time because we buy the house, and we got a mortgage, and we try to if we have some problem house and the repair and fix in the summer we got a garden plant and so getting getting together maybe going a couple places uh and um and uh talking to people was your was what you did can i can i ask um when did you go back to see your relatives the first time i went uh, your mom was born 1971 we went in 1973 when she was only two years old. After, let's put up, after 10 years, I went to see my parents. After 10 years, I was here in Canada. First time I went to see my parents. Yeah. Back home, it was very, very exciting. Mm -hmm. And first time I went there. Yeah, because none of them came here with you. What, why was that? Well, I don't know. Because they was uh, all they can come, and, and I was hoping my brother or sister, somebody to come and see me. But for one reason or the other reason, you know, my younger brother, he's supposed to come here to stay with me in Canada. I'm supposed to sponsor him. But after, after he came home from the uh, army, that he was in the army. But then after when he had all the paper, he changed his mind, he said, He's happy there. He find a job there in Croatia. He don't want to come mm. here in Canada. I was said one way. So, so you're, you're pretty much the only, Kalchina that's in Canada. Yeah. Well, I'm, your your maiden name is Tuliak, but the only Kalchina in yeah, Canada. For, yeah, I'm only Kalchina now. When apart Rino, from us. Yes, apart you are Marinelli. You are not Kalchina, <laughs> but it's your mom anyway. Yeah, no, was. Uh, uh, your nono Nerino was his brother here for a while that we took a long time ago but after he moved to Trieste and he stayed there and that's all he was us three and Nerino Kachina passed away now it's just to me it's your mom and, and that that's all that is it yeah well uh, thank you thank you for telling us all this information um uh is there anything you want to add on because it, it's really interesting to learn all this stuff but i don't know what you want me to say yes like i say one way i'm happy coming canada i went through and that uh, we work hard and uh, we gotta be careful yes and now i'm happy i got a beautiful house but 
that time was different because when you come here, you don't got nobody here, and you don't got no money, and nobody to help you, and you got a struggle uh, either Nerino, you know, no. First time, in f early year, he had a hard time to, to find job because that time was not easy to find. He he worked in a mine and on a he, farm. Yeah, he worked when he came in Canada, fifty seven. For one year, he worked a mine, and then excuse me, he worked in farm for one year. And after one the, year, the, for the viewers, this is this is just uh, her going back to before she even came because you. Because he was much older when he yeah, got married. That, is bad. that that was a custom in uh, Istria. Well, it was custom. It just happened like that. That's all. Because that time when I was young in Istria, now it's totally different. If, if I was young, if I was now like uh, when I was young, I never come in Canada. Tell you the truth, because now is uh, Canada there and here is okay, but it's totally different uh, life. But when I was, because I was born just a... In other words, uh, Croatia has gotten a lot better since the, the 40s. Because that's when there was the war. and Croatia got better after 45 years. And then was two, nine, uh, 91, 92 when it was... Uh, another war. Another war. Civil war, I don't know how you call it, between yeah. uh, Serbia and Bosnia and that. And uh, because to that time it was under Yugoslavia. And then after 93, it went under Croatia. And that's when it became a democracy. Yeah, and that really, there was before long, long time of Croatia. That's supposed to be originally Croatia. But because it was before Austria, before uh, First War. And then after First War, to the second war was Italy from uh, from 1918 to 1945 was under Italy and then after 45 to 93 went down to Yugoslavia so it was a lot of change was a lot of change yes and then was uh, so from 45 to 93 was started much better in 1971 72 when started already under Tito Yugoslavia their change was much better. But then after 93, come a democracy, come under Croatia, and then was, now it's much, now it is. Like sort of said, like Canada almost. In one way, it may be better than Canada. Depend how you, depend the which way, how you're lucky, whatever. Yeah. So, because she was just talking about uh, her childhood and, and how she wouldn't have, not talking about her childhood but she was talking about how she wouldn't come here if she she was she was young younger and it, it in other words it was a very scary life it was an emotional roller coaster but in a way it did pay off because who knows what would have happened if you were in Croatia between all the wars and the poverty yeah, that time, yeah, you're right, that time, like yeah. I say, that time was totally different, because was no job, was under Yugoslavia, under Tito, was no job, everybody moved away from uh, Slovenia, from uh, uh, Yugoslavia, mostly people were uh, emigrate uh, to Italy, to Germany, everybody used to go away that time, no, that time was totally different, but it, I, it was very scary. Well, scary, you don't, got a, you don't got a choice. Or you stay there, and, and you don't and got nothing, or you have to move on. That that was life. But then after that, yeah, everything changed. Now, now it's, it's totally different. They got a life, they live uh, in some way, maybe better than people live here. They're, they're a different story now. I, like I get married, I was very young uh, with, uh, your nono Venerino Cacina, like I say, it was hoping for better life. That's why I come in Canada. And I think and every... compared to Croatia, you probably did. Because, oh. I mean, maybe now, within the past 20 years, it's been good. Uh, but before that, it was eh, not so good. Uh, let's put there is start becoming much better as past. After 1975, uh, 
started come up much better. Either when it was under U uh, Yugoslavia, under Tito, but then after coming, it Democrats was it was the not it was the late nineties when it really started to get better. Ah uh, no, early nine yeah, well late nine early ninety. No, because yeah. I went there it was already much better before so, it was the war. So one last question. Yes, sweetie. Well, actually two. One, do you regret coming to Canada? No, no, I cannot say nothing because I don't know. Like you say, if I stay there, I don't know my life then. What will happen? No, in one way, I don't... Uh, that was destiny. I come here and... Yes, like I say, I was very young, 18 year old. You figure out yourself. 18 year old come here. I don't know language. I don't got money. I don't know nothing. And you got to start... But you don't regret it. No, in one way, no, no, really, because I cannot say. Maybe I was born uh, like you, when you were born, that is totally different life there. But if I was born, maybe only... My, when... my last question. Yes. If you were to go back in time and change to, to one of your, pa to your past self, and you were to change just one thing, one thing, what would that be? Oh, that's a hard question. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. You don't know life what can bring to you. You sometimes hoping for better, and it's coming worse. Sometimes you think so everything go wrong, and seem everything go right. Uh, well, one well, way still, I'm happy and come in Canada. I'm happy to marry him. That way, I got my beautiful, loving daughter. And she me two beautiful grandchildren, who is a Cristiano and Santino, who I love very dearly. Is uh, my beautiful Cristiano Prince and Santino is my angel. I cannot be happy more than that. Well, thank you for doing this interview. You work on you work on. Ciao, ti amo. I love you. Ti amo. Ti amo too. Oh, ti amo too. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You are you are my prince and he's my angel. I am and uh, uh, mom's the queen. <laughs> my mom is a princess. Well, okay. if you're the queen, then she's no, princess. I'm Whatever. Not, I'm not uh, king. I'm not the I'm Anyway. Not I'm, just, I'm your Nona. I hope you guys one day you remember me because I try to do my best. I try to love you very, very much. I try to do uh, the best way I know I can. Maybe I can do better, but that is my life because I don't got a child who was hard. I don't got it when I was young like you, I don't got it. Almost nothing. Yes, I got it. my parents. And But you were they, very poor. And... We was poor. And they, I know they, they tried the best the way they came to give us what they came. But that time was that life and that the best way they can do it. That is the thing, that time. Yeah. You can never go better. I well, anyways, so. thank you for watching this episode of the Marinelli Brothers podcast. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, hit the notification bell, and leave a positive comment on our videos. And uh, please thank uh, Nona for being uh, for doing this with us. And thank you for uh, you want me to tell my story. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I left out something. Maybe we can go through. We can always trade. Do Who something. knows? Maybe there will be a volume two. That's why you gotta subscribe and hit the notification bell, people. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you, Nona. Uh, Santino's at his appointment, but thank. Yeah, thank uh, you, Santino, but, too. But uh, anyways, thank you for watching and goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Thank you.